Mitch, why don't we jump right into our headline topic? And that is NVIDIA's market cap go stonks. Whew. What the actual f*** am I looking at here? This is parabolic. Surely there must be a limit to this somewhere, but we've yet to see it. Absolutely incredible. So what we're looking at here is Crypto Boom the first, Crypto Boom the second, and AI... Okay, what's a word that's bigger than boom? Hyperboom? I like hyperboom. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Turbo boom. Turbo boom. <coughs> Mondo boom. Omega boom. It's, yeah, you know, I don't mind omega boom, but that, it would have to be the last one, and I really don't think this is the last we're seeing of yeah. interesting uses for NVIDIA's GPUs that are, spoiler, not gaming. NVIDIA briefly hit a $2 trillion market cap this morning, becoming the third company to do so after Apple and Microsoft. However, Axios has argued that NVIDIA's current arc is likely to plateau, given that most of its biggest customers, like Microsoft and Google, have reported weak earnings numbers recently, in part because their expensive AI features largely aren't making money yet. NVIDIA might also face increased competition within the AI chip market as companies like Microsoft continue developing their own chips in an effort to move away from their dependence on NVIDIA, who charges as we gamers already knew and could have warned them about, a lot for their technology. Oh, yeah. In its most recent annual report, NVIDIA listed its top competitors as Huawei, AMD, Amazon, Microsoft, and Broadcom. NVIDIA has also launched a beta for the NVIDIA app. Okay, well, this is a completely separate topic. We can... Very, very different. Anyway, the point is... Um, we're being asked in our discussion question, how overhyped is it really? And I would like to preface our response with, we are not analysts. No. Yep. This is not financial. We're advice. not, we, there's no, there's no anal in either of us. Nope. Not right now. Oh, <laughs> anyway, the point is that we're not analysts and we, <laughs> and this is not financial <laughs> advice. That should set the tone for how seriously you should be taking any of what I'm about to say. Yeah. Um, but the, to be to be truthful with you, <laughs> I think that Nvidia does have competition coming. Uh, Jim Keller actually just weighed in on Sam Altman's whole thing, where he needs like seven trillion dollars to build AI chips or something like that, and he's basically like, "I'll do it in less." Oh. Yeah. Dang. Like that Jim Keller, like, yeah. like, like K8 AMD Jim Keller and, um, shoot, what was the, uh, uh, what, oh, man, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah. Also Zen Jim Keller, like, like that Jim Keller, like chip architect Jim Keller. Um, so with that said, I mean, it's clear that competition is coming for them. It's clear that additional fab capacity is coming in the future. Uh, Intel has been talking a lot about their intention to, I mean, this is, this is great. This actually isn't in the dock this week, but Pat Gelsinger said, we'd love to build chips for AMD. He actually like finally said the thing that I was talking yeah. about over the last little bit where yeah. I've been like, Hey, this Intel, we're going to be a fab thing is something that I think has been overlooked. Not financial advice. Um, also, Intel insiders are apparently buying up a bunch of stock right now. Not financial, Not financial advice. advice. Uh, but, Neither of us are analysts. But what appears is going to be happening. TSMC is adding fabrication capacity in Japan in anticipation of China's eventual encroachment on Taiwan. Um, Intel is building out fab capacity at a pace that, to my knowledge, is, has not been seen before from them, um, including in the continental U.S. Um, we've got intense competition for this enormous market that is the AI chip market, both from uh, dedicated chip designers and from the companies that are the ones who are procuring these chips, like the Microsofts of the world. Um, so I do, I do think that competition is coming. However, and this is from someone who would not describe themselves as a fan of NVIDIA's way of doing business. It's funny because Jensen has actually said very similar things about Intel. 
But I will say this about NVIDIA, and that is, if NVIDIA were to, for some reason, enter my space, I would immediately be heading for the Facebook. <laughs> That's pretty good. You're applauding that? That's pretty good. I assumed you were going for the bell. Anyway, uh, the point is, they are not a company... Wasn't worthy of the bell. <laughs> ...that I would bet against. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, if there's a big paradigm shift and f- traditional GPUs you know, don't make as much sense as some kind of new AI chip architecture, um, I wouldn't imagine myself, um, you know, s- savvier and cleverer than NVIDIA in terms of figuring that out and being somewhat on top of it. With that said, it's not like there aren't other smart people out there. Um, mm-hmm. And what I'm trying to say is, The future is extremely murky. I do see how there could be some hesitation around uh, just projecting, you know, infinite growth because that's not how that works. And that is a good point that these AI features aren't making money. But just because a space isn't making money doesn't mean that there isn't going to be a ton of capital rushing into it. And as long as these companies keep buying, it doesn't matter. Now, now, if they're not making money, that could be a sign that they're not going to keep buying. But Silicon Valley has often not really cared that much. And the intense competition that you guys are noting for the on the chip side also exists on the software side. Yeah. And that competition, as far as I can tell, has not slowed down at all. I mean, at Google, people are sharing internal memes, kind of poking fun at how many AI products and how many AI code names Google has for all of the various initiatives that they're running right now. Something has to power that, and that something is NVIDIA for yeah. the time being. Yeah. I would love to see... Man, can I just dream for a second here? Okay, we had that whole thing. We talked about this a few weeks ago where uh, AMD was like cloak and dagger, like, like funding... Um, uh, like a CUDA translator that could run on AMD GPUs. Yeah. And, and and so, you know, if I could imagine like an amazing world, it would be one where AMD, you know, instead of NVIDIA using gaming to get profitable and build AI stuff, you know, AMD sells some AI GPUs and then uses that sick AI money to build better GPUs that they also sell to gamers like like they flip the whole they flip the whole thing upside down and then we get like real competition in the gaming space but i don't think that's going to happen i mean amd has shown time and time again that they are every bit as much a company as nvidia yeah. is yeah uh well i shouldn't say every bit as much a company as nvidia is they are a similar similar level of just a company to nvidia um and so they're going to operate in their best corporate interest but hopefully that remains um you know, building GPUs for gamers, please. But realistically, I think we could end up waiting for Battle Mage um, to to be a, a real threat That's to NVIDIA. That's why I've been leaning for a while now. It's, I, I feel like it's going to be Intel eventually. I don't necessarily know that it'll be Battle Mage. Maybe it'll be... I don't think it's going to be Battle Mage. I was dreaming. Whatever the C1. I was dreaming Celestial. Ah. Yeah, I, I was dreaming. I think after that is, I want to say Druid. Arc Druid, is that a thing? Have they Have they announced them that far ahead? Uh, yeah, yeah. Druid is still just a rumor, but that is uh, that that is that is understood to be the code name. So uh, Alchemist, Battle Mage, Celestial, Druid, and then I don't think we have anything for E. Evoker. Yet. Uh, I bet it'll be Evoker. Evoker. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Not Elf. No. Not Elfling. Druid, Druid, Elfling. Battle Mage and Druid are classes. Elf is a sure, race. but is Celestial? Well, I guess kind of. I mean, you could say, you could say, you could say, uh, oh, oh, Enchanter. Oh. That's pretty good. Or, or they could mix it up, Enchantress. Yeah. Is that PC anymore? Literally no idea. Yeah, I have no idea. You know what? Let's play this game. I know I promised it would be a short show today because Luke's not feeling well, but let's, let's play this game with the, uh, okay. They could cheat for something like F. They could go fire mage or something like that. You kind of, you could kind of cheat it. Yeah. 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 Uh, you could go flayer. Um, you could go with fighter. Oh, fighter. Oh man. Fighters actually, I kind of like it. Fighter seven hundred would be like a sick name for like a graphics the, card. The mo- it's the most basic, yeah. but it's almost just 
it's almost the strongest sounding. Yeah. Okay. I'm going like with, going. I'm going with, we're going to map it out for Intel. And if anyone from <laughs> Intel is watching, we and, and the community are going to do the rest of the work for you guys. And then you just have to stick with our roadmap. Grenadier? Yeah, I was think, like Gunner or Grenadier or something. Oh, Gunner, why do you keep immediately having something that's way more obvious and way better than mine? <laughs> I don't know if they would go with Gunner, though. Okay, Hellcat. Ooh. Give me something here. Um, Howitzer. No, that's not really Yeah, a... I think sticking away from the guns is likely for Intel. Yeah, that there's makes a, there's sense. There's a lot of weight on that. Yeah, and, um, and like, you know, Mage oh, and yeah. Celestial. Hunter. And... Hunter. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was that was that was full plane chat. I took that from full plane chat. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I's got to be ice something. Um. Uh. No. No. It could be. I'm. See, I'm trying to do this on my own. You're just reading float plane chat. That oh, okay. is right, such right, a right, hack. All right. All right. That all right. is I such a I hack. Get, uh, the only one I got from there, I, I said what it was. Um. I. <laughs> I want to kind of cheat and just go with invoker instead of evoker. <laughs> oh, come on! Uh, illusionist? Illusion? Ooh, illusionist is good. I'm picturing, uh, man, what, what's, I'm picturing Job from Arrested Development, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it okay. makes me think of, like, very old school RPGs. Okay, Joker? Jester, Joker, Javelinist, like uh, uh, Jouster, Joust. Joust. Dang it! Stop it! <laughs> You're actually upsetting me now. <laughs> How about Jackass? <laughs> Jerk face. <laughs> Jack off. No. <laughs> Almost got him. <laughs> um, oh my goodness. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> oh. That was close. Okay, K. Oh, K is a Knight. tough one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they even used it as a code name before. Knight's Corner, Knight's Landing. That was even freaking a GPU. How did I not think of it? Sort of. This one's going to be sort really of. hard. Okay, okay, L. Lancer. Let Uh, oh, 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 Lightbringer. No, okay. Uh, Lightbringer? Light, light, Why not Lightbringer? Well, no, it's more of a name. It's it's less of a... Lancer's a class. If we're sticking with classes, I feel like, it's not... I feel like Lightbringer could be like a paladin specialization. I think Lightbringer's fine. Uh, well, mm, it, yeah, uh, yeah, it could be, but it isn't. It could be. Okay, so... Well, uh, but there's gotta be, there's gotta be light something. There's gotta be like, uh... Um, I mean, yeah, I guess we missed kind of some obvious ones, like H could be like Holy Knight or something like that, but then, I don't know, we're gonna end up with two knights, probably, okay, L, uh, L, uh, l l l you could have like Lunar something, you know, Lunar Elf or something like that, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. again, that's, that's, again, that's a race, not a class, um, all right, I'm I'm just looking. I'm just looking at Luke. No, they're not. It's not going to be Luke. <laughs> That'd be so sick. Light Llama. Why am I even looking at this? You guys aren't even helpful. Okay. I would ask for no royalties at all. Just name it, name it Luke. They've uh, already done Battle Mage, so we can't just go straight for Mage. mage. Yeah. Um. Murderer. No, probably not. <laughs> the Intel Arc seems extremely the unlikely. Intel Arc Murderer. That's more like what would be Nvidia's code name for whatever they're going to put up against it. Mercenary. Um, it might be too uh, like Madman, something like that. Madman. Ooh, mercenary. Oh, it's got to be. Dang it. Um. Oh, Marauder. Marauder's good. I Marauder. Like Marauder. It's yeah. going to be Marauder. Yeah. N. Uh, oh, I meant Night Elf. Nightblade. Nightblade. Crap. I picked a race again. <laughs> yeah, you sure did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. Um, oppressor. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds it's like kinda, it could be a It's kind of sick. I just don't think Intel would do it. Oppressor, Onslaught, uh, like, over Overpowerer, like, oh. Oh, man. Oh man, D could have been like Devourer. That would have been kind of cool. It's a little graphic, though. It's a little graphic. I feel like Intel is going to want to be a little bit more. And balanced. looking at the artwork that they've had so far, it's more <laughs> like 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 arcane and like uh, like high fantasy. It's not like like horror. Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. like like Devourer. It's, it's more Doom. It's like demonic, you know. 
Um, yeah, something like occult. Not only is that not a class, but yeah, I think they wouldn't go that direction. The anyways. occultist. Occultist. Uh, that's actually not terrible. We don't have a ton of options. What? Oh, like omen something. Omen. O- omen bringer. Like out of. Okay, I don't know. What is what is chat saying? Oracle. Obviously. Oracle. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Right. It has to be Oracle. Yep. You guys, you guys, <laughs> clear W on that one. <laughs> yeah. Paladin. Okay. <laughs> yes. One you victory got one. for me. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Q. It's like queen or like uh uh hmm. Is this even fun for people? I have no idea. Not a clue. Uh, yeah. Pe- people man. seem engaged. Quartermaster. That's not bad. Quartermaster is pretty good. That's actually, that's solid. I kind of like Quartermaster. I actually like that a lot. There's yeah. a lot of like queen and quilt and you just kind of quiz. Quilt? Like, yeah. I think Quartermaster is really solid. <laughs> I would laugh so hard if they made it quilt. Like, no <laughs> like the quilt fighter just like, what? he's like just puts a blanket over his he head he lays down like, in the corner and just yeah. hopes no one notices yeah um, a security blanket <laughs> <laughs> uh, QR R uh, ra- Ravage Rogue. no ra- oh. that one's pretty, that one's pretty... swordsman probably yeah. not no it's too it's too simple spellblade oh okay that's cool uh, sorcerer you could yeah, there's actually so many. I like Spellbinder. There's you, a like, lot you of You could come up with almost anything yeah, for that. There's tons of S's. Um, samurai, yes. Oh, yeah. nice. That would be pretty sick. Actually, I, I think it's got to have to be Samurai. Samurai's pretty like, good. Just with how much kind of, you know, magey stuff we've already got. I don't want to see, like, spell Spellsmith. Yeah, or anything I, like, like that. I like Samurai, too. T. That's good. Taylor. It's a popular name. <laughs> <laughs> really fast. <laughs> the, ah. the arc the tailor it's 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 your bard it's just like a it's a <laughs> get it as fast yeah 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 yeah, yeah. He, he got there yeah it's a little slow today yeah uh so there's like thief oh, um okay yeah i don't think they'd want that i don't though. think they would want thief. no no um, no thief arc no. arc ah. Uh, so they wait yeah Tom, arc was the first one so no, it no. could be Arc like... Alchemist. Arc Battle Mage. Arc Celestial. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Arc is always part of it. Okay, okay. Um, ooh, Tempest. I like that. I like that. Tempest. Tempest is pretty good. I think it, that's got to be the one. Tinkerer is not bad, Tinkerer though. is very good. And very different from everything so far. Yep. I mean, yep. at this point, we're talking like the roadmap is out into about 2040 or so, 2045. Yeah. So <laughs> probably, we might not even live long enough to see these code names. And but. they've probably like picked a new naming scheme at this point anyways. But who knows? Maybe this will be the one time that a company actually sees it through. Google bailed. Why did they bail on Android names? Yeah, I liked them. It was it was so much more memorable. I can't even keep track of the numbers anymore. Yeah. Whereas, like, if you ask me, okay, what did Kit Kat look like? I'd be like, oh yeah, like kind of like 100%, that. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Honeycomb. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Honeycomb was when we like you know got landscape on tablets and stuff. Yeah, right. Like it just and it worked better and stuff. Like it was more optimized. Like I remember those <clears> things. <throat> um, okay. Okay. Where do we leave off? Where do we leave off? I'm not with it enough to even know. But okay, we're under. We're on you. You. Yeah. Ultra something, probably, like ultra... Altruist. <laughs> that's not how that spells. That's, that's an A. <laughs> that's a, uh, <laughs> thanks. Uh, I mean, I thought it was more B tier, but I uh, oh, appreciate wow. you. Hey, there we go. Uh, my brain went to Undertaker, but they would never do that. No, um, no, no, no. No. Umbra? Is that like... Umbra? What is Umbra? Isn't that, that just again? like a soccer brand? Oh, no, that's Umbro. <laughs> trust them uh, <laughs> unicorn uh, yeah i don't think so i mean that'd be cool branding like unicorn rider or something like that but i just i don't see it it's not really aligned with what we have so far which is yeah, alchemist battle mage celestial druid i just don't i don't see like a prancing unicorn usurper i like that one. Oh, that's not bad it might feel a little late. Like, I, I would assume that we're not going to get to Usurper if they haven't usurped anything by then. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fair. Uh, I do like it, though. Ultima, that's pretty sick. Yeah, it's that's a spell, though. Right? Like, that's not... Uh, it's going to be Ultra something. It'll, ultra Blade or Ultra... Uh, ultra something. But I don't know exactly what. Conrad says, Gemini says, Umbralist. 
Untamer, and Urchin. Yeah, it's definitely... So Umbra is the fully shaded inner region of a shadow cast by an opaque object, especially the area on the Earth or Moon experiencing a total phase of an eclipse. It is often used in video games to describe like something shadowy, something you should be concerned about. There's a sword in Morrowind called Umbra. The Umbra list. That like... Uh, yeah, I don't think that's good. Compels the, the wielder to... It. Okay. Pwn. Ultra something. Yeah. D. That one's kind of unfortunate. Vi- the violence giver. <laughs> the, the the venge venge something. I need, I need to close this. The, the venger. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I first went to we, ventriloquist, which is not good. Ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> the violinist. Everyone's fighting. You're just like. <laughs> I mean, they don't have a bard yet, so. Yeah. 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 Unless they go with my pitch for T. The tailor. <laughs> um, v for the violence wreaker. I am I am stealing this from chat. I saw this before I closed the screen, but Viper. Um it's, it's okay. It it's could be like okay. a rogue specialization, maybe. Yeah. But it's a little eh, like poison based rogue or something. Yeah. The um the vasectomy giver. <laughs> just I could see a D and D campaign based around that. I will I will eliminate your offspring. <laughs> <laughs> we, we won't win this war this year or next year we'll but give us a war. generation <laughs> or two <laughs> in, in generations from now <laughs> if only it wasn't a real thing <laughs> yeah yeah uh okay yeah. so v then um i mean it's for vendetta obviously right but uh, the the vendetta Okay, do you guys have anything? Vanguard, dang it, how did we not hey, think of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, All right Vulture, that's not bad either. Vanguard, I think, is it? No, it's gotta be Vulture. Really? Yeah! It's Vanguard. What? It's Vanguard for sure. Dan, settle this. Uh, Vanguard, yeah. Yeah. yeah All right. T U V W. Okay, W. Uh, War, War Horse. Wizard. Warlord. Warlord's pretty good. I think Warlord's cooler than Wizard. Dan, Warlock? Settle. Warlock? Warlock. All right, we'll just go with that. I think Warlock might win. Yeah, you got one. All right, X. <sighs> X-Man. <laughs> you just collab with them. Yeah. He's like, whatever, we couldn't think of a name. Yeah, well, just... that was like uh, uh, Google did with um, Nestle or whatever for KitKat. Oh, yeah. They were yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. We, we have nothing for K. So we're going we're gonna, to like license this thing that we can call it. <laughs> like, we'll work with them on it. Um, so it's actually just X-Men. Uh, I feel like there's got to be Xenomorph. Something that's yeah. something. That's, that's chat. That's chat gets credit for that one. Is that a class? They could just call it, they could just call it the Warrior Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Xena. Um, Xena actually sounds pretty cool. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it would have a similar issue to X-Men. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Let's just go with um, yeah. Xenomorph would have the same problem too. That's, that's certainly copyrighted or whatever the yeah copyrighted or protected in some way. Um, Xeno Xenoblade. Oh no, that's a thing. Crap. Uh, Z- Xeno something probably. Yeah. Um, okay. Why? Yak Rider. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that. I can't think of much. Um, um, the Yacker. Right, right, because we don't have a, we don't have like a, like a charismatic. The yacker. The yacker. Yeah, that's a horrible name. <laughs> oh my god. Um, did you just did you just do a takedown of my entire class? <laughs> <laughs> Literally, my job. It's funny because what I first jumped to was yappy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, All right, I'm going to chat. Yeah, what do they got? YOLO? Ugh. Yerf dog? What? Wow, you guys aren't even trying Yggdras- anymore. Yggdrasil is not like a... The Yankee. Yeah, but it's a cool word. It is a cool word. What, what's, a, what's a Yankee? You, it like rides into battle. Yodeler. Yeehaw! There you go. The yodeler. I mean, yeah. sure. Um, ugh. Yeoman? That's something. Which is more than what we had. You missed Ark? What? No? What? Uh yeah, Yaman is Yaman is decent. I say we go with that. Yaman? It's like a shaman, but cooler? I guess so. <laughs> I don't think so. I forget what they do. Yaman. Uh a man holding and cultivating a small landed estate. Oh, a freeholder. Oh yeah, I know. I I, I thought yeah, you were saying like Y A M M. No, yeah, it's not it's not like Yellmancer. <laughs> 
that <laughs> i mean funnily it's like enough a it is like a barbarian. shout attack yeah yeah, yeah. um okay yeah, we, sure we can't do yakuza they can't do yakuza that's it, not yeah that's definitely not gonna be a thing no <laughs> yeezy collab no <laughs> no <laughs> all right z zapper oh conrad's got it he might have got it from gemini i'm not sure but zealot oh zealot okay yeah that's gonna have to be it okay yeah. man what did we do for s sapper wouldn't have been bad there was there was like too many for oh there s. was too many for s yeah, yeah that's right oh there's so many good ones a million can, can i can i have sapper sapper is pretty good is intel gonna want to call their thing sapper i think you could, i think you could i think you could i think with cool enough branding sapper fits into what we have established so far swashbuckler dang there's so many s's fine <laughs> zookeeper all right let's go into topic number two i don't even remember what topic number uh, one was anymore there was a bit of an ending on topic number one which is nvidia has also launched a beta for the nvidia app which finally merges features of geforce experience and the nvidia control panel on windows it offers account-based awards but thank goodness finally doesn't require login to use it actually uh, looks super cool they also launched i believe it's in beta right now but they also launched a new feature so the the ai powered sdr to hdr video conversion that yeah. they've had available for some time now is now available as a toggle in the new driver um, and this is a really well-timed launch from them going hey try our new driver not only is it a new driver and like, you know, the first time we've updated our look in, you know, 20 years or however long it's been <laughs> since they first launched the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, but we've got this very compelling new feature that people might want to try. So it's an automatic SDR to HDR converter for games, which already <laughs> exists, at least in Windows, but is now powered by AI or something. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, we are we were working on a video on the video version, and then we were going to kind of touch on the hacky way that um, some folks found to enable it in games. Uh, but now we're just going to bundle those two together, and we're going to do a video on HDR or SDR to HDR conversion because there's a lot of HDR monitors out there now at this point. As if you consider TVs monitors, there's ton of them basically every tv in the last few years over the very very entry level has been hdr capable and in many cases more capable than the entry level hdr monitors so anyone who's gaming on a tv a relatively recent tv is going to be able to take advantage of this in a big way because there's still a significant shortage of hdr content particularly on the video side like if you go like if you just you know look at look for any movie you enjoy here uh pick a movie you enjoyed as a kid that you think is you know probably not a huge deal you know it's not lord of the rings but just some movie you liked <laughs> he's gonna out himself here no oh, man. i just i just it's 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 white chicks isn't it all right i'll look it up <laughs> white chicks you just you cut me off at the pass i was gonna say lord of the rings fellowship of the ring and then you were like can't be that and i was like all right fair enough i never watched like a ton of movies um original top gun okay yeah top gun man okay top gun probably does have an hdr release uh what, what was it 1988 uh night shut up it's not from 1980 is it 1986 all right uh man i can't believe tom cruise has been cool as long as i've been alive <laughs> mind-blowing <laughs> yeah uh no top gun did get a 4k ultra hd blu-ray so it it is available uh with in dolby vision but my point is that there are a lot There's, of I mean, older movies that yeah, are not available in hdr uh, in any release format <laughs> that's at decent quality there's a lot that do have hdr releases through streaming platforms but if i could watch the blu-ray with a light ai upscaling and with a good SDR to HDR conversion, I think I'm at the point now where I understand and I accept that that's the best I'm ever going to get. And I think I could settle for that because HDR 4K Blu-ray is dying. Ooh, original Tron. Yeah. That probably got the HDR. You've seen that, right? Um, oh. I haven't. Wow. 
Hey, speaking of which, have you played any Final Fantasy VI? No. Oh, right. I wanted to this week, but if I wasn't working, I was generally sleeping. Yeah. Right. Week, so. Who would like to see a 4K remaster of Original Tron? No, it appears it has not gotten the treatment. Apparently, neither has Robocop. Uh, Shaun of the Dead. I, I doubt Shaun oh, of the Dead is getting a, a I agree, HDR but that 4K, would, whatever. That would, would, yeah. I like that movie. Um, what was Shaun of the Dead shot on? Would it even... Shut up. <laughs> it was shot on film with oh, RE sick. cameras. There would be enough dynamic range there and yeah. enough resolution for them to do it if anyone was motivated enough to do it. And it really is, it, it's a great movie. It's so good. I, I'm not even a huge fan of the zombie movie genre, so I'm sure there were references that I didn't get and stuff like that, but it was, it was absolutely a, a, a blast. And I love Simon Pegg. Uh, I just think he is one of those people who's naturally hilarious no matter what he's doing. It's incredible. A Galaxy Quest. Oh, oh, so good. Speaking of actors that I love no matter what they're doing. Um, oh my God, why can't I remember his name right now? This is so embarrassing. Uh, Alan Rickman. Jeez. Oh, wow. Yeah, Alan Rickman. Man, he's awesome. He's fantastic in everything. He's awesome. Have you seen Galaxy Quest? Yeah. Oh, okay. Parts of it. By Grap Tharzan. Oh, man, he's so good. Anyway. I haven't seen the whole thing, but I've seen parts you of have, it. You have to, what? Yeah. How can you watch part of a movie like that and not watch the whole thing? I just don't really watch stuff that often. I guarantee you've seen parts of original Tron. You ever watch the whole thing? No, I've never seen any of it. Wow, really? Yeah, I mean, I... When would I... Okay, we either had it on VHS when I was a kid, or oh, I yeah, haven't we seen it. We never owned it. Where would I have seen like it? Like Galaxy Quest, I never had like access to it. Well, where then? Where did you see it? How do you see parts Sailing of movies? The seas. Uh, people reference it all the time. There's like YouTube things on it, stuff like that. Oh, okay, I yeah, all right, fair enough. Look, <laughs> might be a psycho, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I get, I like, I get too distracted um, watching like TVs and shows. Like if if I TVs and shows. <laughs> man um if i'm watching something with well, that's why somebody, you're distracted you got all these tvs <laughs> how are you supposed to pay attention to any of the movies you're watching I, my my living like, room yeah, is just like types of loose <laughs> movie reviews really disjointed story it felt like if they'd had five six more of a movie there there really would have been something maybe it had something to do with the fact that i had half a dozen movies going at the same time <laughs> maybe not sure that Jeez. seems like a movie problem not a me problem uh yeah uh, yeah, I was, I was saying, like, my, my living room is, like, those old, like, 90s sets with, like, just the tower of CRTs. It's like, yeah, that's how I watch TV. Uh, that's how I, I watch TVs. 